kids, my name is Heather McConley and I have the coolest job in the entire world. You see that superhero cape behind me? Well, my superpower is I help get kids excited about reading. Now, some of you might already really love to read and that's great. I love to read too. But some of you might not understand how cool it is to read. We're kicking off a program for the next two weeks called Reach for the Stars. Now, the goal of Reach for the Stars is to help you learn to love reading. And so every day for 30 minutes, every day, you get to read. You might read with your teacher, like she might read to your class, or you might read with your mom or dad, or you might read by yourself if you're able to read already. And that's great. This is actually a contest. So the top three readers in each grade are going to get a special prize. And you're going to make a wish list and collect pledges for your reading. And when you're done reading, you're going to be rewarded with what I think are some of the coolest books out there for kids. We have Lift the Flat books and books that make noises and light up. And we've got... Um, graphic novels and we've got magic painting and sticker books, all kinds of great books that are designed to help you actually like them. So um, so the Reach for the Stars is a two week reading program. Every day you're going to read and you're going to record the number of minutes in some reading journals that you're going to get. And these reading journals are, um, they, they look like a page with little stars on them. And so every day you're going to read and you're going to mark down how many minutes you read that day. I mentioned that this is a contest, so you don't have to stop at 30 minutes. You can read for longer if you like to. Goodness knows I like to read for longer than 30 minutes a day. And then again, the top three readers in each grade will get a special prize. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask our parents and other family members and maybe some friends of the family to sponsor us in our reading. And so that I'm going to practice that with you right now. The way it goes is this. It says, hey, mom, you can repeat that. You say, hey, mom, would you sponsor me? Would you sponsor me in my reading, in my reading? And then you're going to mark down uh, how much your parent or your the friend of the family or whoever else it is, maybe your aunt, uh, will sponsor you in your reading and collect the pledges. Half of the pledges are going to be returned to you in the form of books. Books that you want, books that you pick out, books that you're going to love to read. We call this program Reach for the Stars because in our reading, reading can actually take us anywhere. It can take us to galaxies beyond our comprehension. It can take us to the depths of the ocean, uh, like 20,000 leagues under the sea. It can take us deep into space. It can take us to the highest mountain, like Mount Everest. And it can take us to lots of different cultures and, and other, other things that we don't even know about. And so when we read, we reach. We reach beyond ourselves and we can reach for the stars. And so again, we're going to read for 30 minutes every day. We're going to ask our parents and our other friends of the family and our relatives to sponsor us in our reading. And then we're going to get rewarded for our reading in the form of books. I hope that you'll all take the challenge at, to heart and will read with me for 30 minutes every day for the next two weeks, including on Thanksgiving. In some of us might be a little nervous about reading this much, and so I want to read you guys, read everybody here, a really fun story called Jonathan James and the What If Monster. The What If Monster is that monster that's inside our heads that always asks us, well, what if things go wrong? And so here is a quick story from me to you about Jonathan James and the What If Monster. It's by a lady named Michelle Nelson Schmidt. She not only wrote the book, she also illustrated it. Some what-if monsters like to hang out and fill up our heads with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread and all of those what-ifs got stuck in his head. This is Jonathan James. 
What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? You see, he's climbing a tree. And now he's at the pool. What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and look really silly? What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they laugh and make you feel sad? And here he's painting. What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if that's what everyone thinks? What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells because you're too picky? I don't like it when my mom yells at me. What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? What if you lose? What if you're last? What if you're slow and you never get fast? What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? Now, wait just a minute. I have something to say after hearing your what ifs all through the day. I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asks Jonathan James. What if I climb to the top of that tree and I never slip or skin up a knee? And what if I jump right into the pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun and I end up hitting a triple home run? And what if my drawing goes up on the wall and everyone thinks it's the best one of all? And what if I taste some of that food and it puts my mouth in a really good mood? And what if I run in a really big race and I have a great time no matter what place? And what if I sleep and have the best dream that monsters are sweeter than they all seem? And what if the chance that I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend. And look, at the end, the what if monster finds the courage to jump in the pool. Just like Jonathan James, sometimes we have what if monsters in our heads too. Jonathan James and the What If Monster is a really great book to talk to you about worrying. And this is just one of the books, and we have lots of picture books, uh, that we have with Usborne Books and More. But we have more than that with Usborne Books and More. We've got, again, graphic novels, lift the flap books, fiction, nonfiction, biographies, all kinds of different books that you're going to really want to read, I promise. So I hope that you will take the Reach for the Stars Challenge. I hope that you'll read for 30 minutes every day. I hope that you'll ask for sponsors for your reading. And most importantly, I hope that you're going to have lots of fun. I'll see you on the flip side.